what's up guys it is a t-ball and i am back with another video so today we're going to go over the top three trade destinations for draymond green so before i start if you want to see more daily nba content just like this be sure to drop a like and subscribe as i really do appreciate all the support so things have hit a new low for the warriors over their crazy run the past few years as they've lost four games in a row and there has been a lot of drama surrounding the team we all know about the incident between kevin durant and draymond green on the court but recently durant liked the comment on instagram about green potentially being traded that's a snake move in my opinion, but I was thinking, let's have a little fun with this. The Warriors will probably not trade green, but say they do. There's a slight chance that they may think if they trade green, it will give them a much higher chance in re-signing Durant next offseason. Obviously, I repeat, a trade will very likely not happen, but this is just for fun. So what would be the top three trade destinations for green if the Warriors do in fact decide to get them off their hands? So first up, I have the Toronto Raptors. The Raptors have been crazy good this season as the current number one seed in the East, and I think they can be even better with adding Green. Green will fit in very well on both ends of the floor, as he's a great passer that would help move the ball, and also take some pressure off of Kyle Lowry and Kawhi Leonard. On defense, we all know he's an excellent small ball 5, and a versatile defender who can guard out at the perimeter and protect the rim. A trade of Serge Ibaka, Pascal Siakam, and future first round picks for Green and Filler may be fair, but I'm not sure if the Raptors would want to do a trade. They already have Siakam who has been a breakout player and is somewhat of a mini dream on Green, and he's also young and on his rookie contract. Ibaka has been balling this season and has had a resurgence, so trading him would definitely hurt as well. This would be an all-in move for the Raptors to win now, so while it may hurt their future, a starting lineup of Kyle Lowry, Danny Green, Kawhi Leonard, Draymond Green, and Jonas Valanciunas would easily be the favorite to make it to the finals in my opinion and it will be very fun to watch Green go up against likely his former team. Next up, I have the Boston Celtics. Green to Boston would be one of the most interesting trades that would happen, and I think a trade would benefit both teams here. The Celtics have struggled mightily to start the season, and if things continue to stay the same, change may be necessary. Adding Green to the team would provide Boston with a playmaker and ball handler at the 4, who could play to 5 and he also wouldn't need a ton of shots which is good, since the Celtics already have Kyrie Irving, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, and Gordon Hayward. A trade would likely be something such as Draymond Green and filler for Al Horford, Roy Zier, and future first round picks from the Celtics treasure box of assets. Green is only 28 years old compared to Horford being 32, giving Draymond more prime years left in his career for Boston, and I think that would definitely be a motivating factor for the Celtics to do this trade. For the Warriors, they would be getting a big who plays a similar style to Green as a 4, who could also play the 5 and move the ball well, a starting level guard who would back up Curry and start when he gets injured, and future picks as well. This would be a very interesting trade that I would love to see go down, and I think it may benefit both teams if the Warriors would look to trade Draymond Green. Finally, I have the Memphis Grizzlies. Memphis has been amazing this season as the number one seed in the West, as their grit and grind style of play has worn down teams to the ground. They have defenders at all positions, and this has allowed them to be the best defensive team in opposing teams' points per game. Imagine adding Draymond Green to this team, where he would help form a starting lineup of Conley, Temple, Anderson, Green, and Gasol. I feel suffocated from just thinking about that lineup, and teams would have even more trouble trying to score with Green in the lineup. Also, Green would benefit the Grizzlies on offense by giving them a playmaker who can help take some pressure off of Conley and Gasol. The big problem, however, would be getting a trade done, but something like Green for Jaron Jackson Jr. who has been great as a rookie this season, filler, and future first round picks would be a starting point, but likely not be enough. But say the Grizzlies were to be able to pull off a trade for Green, they would definitely be true championship contenders even in the West. So that's a wrap. Thanks guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more daily NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe and also be sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on my newest video will be coming out. Also, follow me on Instagram and hit me up if you want to talk about basketball, business, or have any video ideas you want me to do. Let me know as I do try to get back to all you guys there. Drop a comment down below on which NBA team you want to see Draymond Green on. Let me know as I do read all comments and I'm definitely interested to see what you guys have to say. So, with all that being said, once again, thanks for watching and hopefully, I'll see you guys soon for my next video. Peace.